Okay, so today I'm going to show you exactly how I've completely automated my entire Twitter to post these long researched Twitter threads based on an AI topic that is completely written by ChatGPT with my own AI researcher and then auto publishes and auto does the research every single day. So the big issue I have is that I'm super lazy and I don't like writing or I don't even like using ChatGPT to write the tweet for me and then me manually posting a button. So I did a video where I used my research agent to auto-generate the Twitter thread, but then I had to manually click a button. So in this video, I've completely automated everything. So basically I don't have to touch it and it posts daily research Twitter threads to my tw Twitter account every single day. So I'm going to show you exactly the architecture and how I did this. So what are actually some of the issues currently with using ChatGPT to actually create Twitter content, right? So a lot of people have been using ChatGPT to create Twitter content, to create LinkedIn blogs and so forth. But by now, a lot of people can tell whether or not this is ChatGPT created or not. So some of the issues are, you know, it's old, stale content. If you just get asked ChatGPT to write your Twitter thread, it writes in a sort of a, a very quirky, not sort of human-like when it's just not that engaging, right? So the prompt that I'm going to use and I'm going to show you is quite a big prompt and it sets out the definition of what is a good Twitter thread and how to actually write one. And then these are sort of the main two, so not up to date, only data before 2021, right? So if you're wanting to give a lot of value to users, say for me in the AI space, and I want to tell people about all these new tools coming out or any new information or research, it's not gonna be able to actually come up with it from its own memory. So that is why it's so important to include the research agent step that I have in this to actually go away and bring in the information. But you could do this with sort of historic information, so with historic figures. But that comes on to the third problem, right? These large language models are very good at hallucinating and basically coming up with stuff, coming up with dates. And especially for if you start going out into the niche breaches of history, it will probably get stuff wrong, right? So that's also why you need some sort of web scraper, some research agent to go and just get all that research correctly. And then ChatGPT can take that research and format that correctly. So this is the general architecture. Basically, we've got a scheduler. So I've set this so that for every single day, it's going to send, it's going to kick off this whole cycle. So the first thing we do is we do a Sheets API call. So I've got a Google Sheets like this that has over a hundred different topics for me based all on AI. It will take one of these topics. It will then pass it to my server hosted API using render which will then go off, kick off my research agent with the topic. And then once that researcher is finished, it will take the output of all that research, put it into a thread generator along with the topic, which will then auto post to my Twitter account and then update the sheet to show that that has been done. So the only thing I'm gonna to have to do is in about a hundred days is update this and add more topics. So let's get into the code and let me just show you exactly how I did this. So a lot of this is going to be similar to two other videos I did. One, my research agent video and the other, the Twitter AP, the Twitter threads video. So if you want a detailed description of the code and exactly how I did that, look here. But I'm going to go over it super quickly so you get a general understanding of what's going on. Basically, I have a research agent that has two sets of tools. It has a search and then a scraper. So for the search, I'm using Serper. Basically what this does is it can do a web search and then it will get a bunch of links back. And then for the scraper, it basically goes to that site, scrapes all that data and summarizes that data. So these are the two tools, the search and the scrape. And we summarize here the, the data on the scrape site so we don't go over the context limit. And then we pass these into a tools, give it the prompt and then initiate the agent. So we run this agent and this is going to give us back a bunch of up-to-date research based on the query that I've entered. And then I have a Twitter generate Twitter threads generator. So this is the prompt for the Twitter threads generator. It is quite big, but I found this works super well. I use ChatGPT4 for this. So basically I pass the output of the research and the topic headline here and the info into a LLM chain, which then produces a Twitter thread. 
And then how I'm able to actually call this is I build this into an API. So I use fast API here. So as you can see, so we first call the agent, we get the content, we pass out that content, and then we get the Twitter thread to do the, tw to produce the Twitter thread. And then we use my Twitter function to actually post that to Twitter. So the Twitter function is pretty simple, takes in a thread, does some checking, make sure that everything is under 280 characters, just replacing some dots, giving it some spacing between each sentence. And then in a for loop, we basically publish the first tweet. And as a response to each tweet, we publish the second, third, fourth, fifth tweet. So that is pretty much all the code that there is. Now, how do we actually connect this all together and get it to run every single day? So you could write this with code, but I'm super lazy and I like no code tools. So I've used something called make.com. So make.com, if you've not heard of it, is a Zapier alternative. It's got a, like a really good free trial compared to Zapier, and it gives you a lot more ability to, to do different things. But you can use Zapier for this as well. So the first thing we do is we go to the Google Sheets, and we're going to do a search, right? So we're going to filter on status. So here I've got the idea and the status, because obviously we don't want to use the same sort of prompt every time. Otherwise, we're going to get super boring Twitter threads or they're going to be really repetitive. That's going to filter on status on not used, right? It's going to filter those, and I'm just returning the first one back. We're then going to just create a JSON, right? So the, my API is taking a single input, which is a query as a JSON. So we pass in the query, and we pass in the idea variable. We then take this, and we make a HTTP request to render. So this is actually how I'm hosting it. So once you've got this code, basically you need to make sure you have your requirements.txt and then you can just come here and I'm just using the free plan here. You upload that to GitHub and then you can deploy this straight to render and you basically have to do nothing. This is going to be your endpoint up here and this will run everything for you. So we do a HTTP request, a post request, and we just add in the JSON string. So the content type is JSON, and we add in that JSON string. Now, to make sure that we don't repeat that again, we do another Google Sheets API, where we basically enter the row number, and we set the status to use. So this row number comes from this first Sheets API. So all in all, this is a super simple automation and then you come down here you hit scheduling and you can do this every hour every day however you want to do this and this way you just completely automate your entire twitter with up-to-date information so let me show you what one of the recent tweets are and sort of how good this actually is you know ever wonder how some it's got some and this is all to do with my prompt as well how i prompt to get this twitter thread out and it will go and pray this and what's amazing is as well it will return these links so if you because we're doing using a research agent and we're getting updated information we can actually start you know giving back these these different sites and tools that people can use which is super useful for growing your twitter and sort of the best way to get people to engage and actually deliver value and then that's it. I don't need to touch it for 100 days. It's just going to run by itself and generate a Twitter thread each time. And you don't have to do AI topics. What you could do is point the research agent at sort of Wikipedia and do a historical Twitter thread where you do a Twitter thread on the life of a famous person every day and just scrape that Wikipedia page for it and pass that into GPT with this same sort of structure. And you can easily probably grow to 100k that 100k follows very easily within a year so if you like this and you want something like this implemented if you're a business that needs automation feel free to reach out i've got my email down in the comments below